Hi, my name is Mona Alicelli. I'm from a company called Page Zero Media. Um, I am talking to Mitch Joel here today from SES Toronto 2008. Hi, Mitch. Hey, how are you? Excellent, how are you? Great. Okay, so Mitch Joel, I hear that you're writing a book. Do you want to tell us a little bit about it? I am. Uh, the book is called Six Pixels of Separation. It's going to be coming out on Grand Central Publishing, which is formerly Time Warner Books, okay. in the fall of 2009. So it's due like yesterday. I know it sounds like it's a long ways away when you're a blogger and a podcaster, yep. but that's actually my world and that's what I'm dealing with now. I hear you on that world. <laughs> yeah. um, okay, so you were on a panel today and I'm just wondering if you, you spoke about universal and blended search, right? Yeah, I mean, the idea here is that we are at a very interesting time when it comes to search because, first of all, all of the major engines, Google, MSN, and Yahoo, are really bringing into the search results at their core things like images and video and all that sort of stuff, blogs. And most people, or, you know, the past couple of months, we were sort of looking at verticals. Like, if you want news information, you go into news. If you want images, you go into images. People are getting really smart at searching, and so from a search engine optimization perspective, this becomes a really challenge because right. if Google decides to put the images at the top, that means the number one result is actually an image. Right. So here we are as marketers battling back and forth about how to get our text to the top, and all of a sudden Google, MSN, or Yahoo dumps images or videos on top of that. Right. And so what do we do as marketers to get our content views? How do we understand that content is no longer text anymore online, that it is everything from tags and images and thoughts to even the social aspect of it, consumer reviews and stuff like that. All of this is now searchable. All of this is being dumped into one main search result. And uh, we are in this world, you know, ironically enough, that ties into the idea of six pixels of separation where we are all really intrinsically connected through the content we're creating now. Okay, so in terms of all of the information that's out there, that you know, the images and the videos and the text, and you know, I, let's say I'm new to this. Where do I start? I think you start with just doing some fundamental searches on the industry you serve and seeing the type of content that's really driving forward. A lot of people make the assumption that it's text. It may or may not be. It could be images, it could be video, it could be audio even. And so the first thing is just really monitoring the space, analyzing what people are saying, seeing the conversations that are taking place, and then from there making some strategic decisions about what you should do. And where I'm going with that is not in terms of uh, what are we doing on Facebook and what are we doing on YouTube, right. but more along the lines of why. Why would we be in Facebook? Why would we be in YouTube? Why is it important to have all this content ready for a blended search environment? And how do we best connect to our consumers? And I guess at a meta level, how do we encourage our consumers to connect to, to one another? Because that's the real power of the interactive and web space. So, you know, it's the type of stuff we at Twisty Match talk to our clients about. I mean, that's what we do as an agency is how do we make these conversations happen? And I think that marketers, even at a search level, understand that this is really where people are having their brand interaction. Like if I said to you, hey, you gotta check out this cool new mic, it's really awesome, odds are you wouldn't run down to the music store and ask them, or an audio store and say, what's this mic about? Odds are you would probably go online and do a search on it. And that's your right. first brand interaction, and that first page of results is the brand. Right. And so how do we as marketers really embrace this new way of really being? And it, listen, it's challenging, all the answers aren't there. Great, thanks. Thanks, Mitch. Thanks for talking to us today.